All right, so I got the whole setup pretty much done. It could use a little tweaking so that I don't have to flip any levers or valves. All I gotta do is just hit the dryer, push start, and uh, and we'll be good. I'm ready to try it out, and uh, let's just take a look back here. Got my piping hooked up. Later on, I'm gonna switch this out with uh, insulated pipe because it's gonna have hot air coming down into here. Hot air goes in right there, and then the uh, moisturized hot air will exit there, and eventually I'll I'll have it, you know, go out outside the wall or something like that. But just for the test and for principle's sake, I'll show you what's up. Show you how it works. So the the whole setup is um, I added this since the last time I showed my video. I, I added this in. Let me get up here and show you that. <clears throat> what this is, it's a Johnson control, and I modified it a little bit so that I can go above the hundred and or the 100 degree temperature rating that it had because I'm working with like 150 degree water so um, the Johnson control I have um, rigged so that's cool so what that does is it's going to turn the pump on water comes in through here goes into the coil and then on the return side of the coil is where the sensor bulb is for the Johnson control and um, so and so that when it gets to the right temperature it's going to fill the coil with it's going to fill the coils with uh, hot water and then once that once the air passes by and, and drops that temperature on the coils a certain amount of degrees I think I think I have it set for like three degrees or something temperature difference it's going to kick back on again and circulate new hot water through the coil until it reaches the temperature that I got it set for and so that Johnson control turns the pump on to circulate and I got that powered right now off of the um, hot water clock. It, it's not on the clock timer, it's just hooked up for the power because it's a 240 volt uh, circ pump that I got right here. So anyway, um, yeah, water back to the tank and I'll turn this valve on. That's so at nighttime it doesn't automatically thermal siphon into here and start heating my garage. Um, I'd like to put a one-way valve on that later on, um, somewhere in maybe uh, on the return or something. Just throw a spring operated or um, or uh, whatever one-way valve in there. That'd be great. Um, also, powering off the same clock is the 240 volts for my dryer. Um, let's see what can I say about that. I. Uh, I powered off the dry or I powered up the dryer with that voltage. It's only running 4.1 amps. So uh, let's I guess go ahead and run this thing. So I turn I turn the valve on already. I gotta turn my Johnson control so it'll start circulating. So I'm gonna turn that up to uh, like 140. And there the pump just came on. So once so the pump's on right now, and uh, I'll actually turn that to there, and it should, once the once the coils fill up with hot water to a certain point, um, it takes a little bit to, to actuate it, but it's pretty responsive. Nothing like an electronic device, but um, anyway, we'll get that thing fired up. You can still hear the circ pump running, and it should. Yep, there it is. Now it shut off. Now I got 100 and uh, what are we at? 145 degree water inside the coils, and I'll go ahead and set the timer on my dryer. Push start, and now. The dryer's the dryer's sucking in air using the motor from the dryer. It's sucking in air um, through here, past the coils, down into the dryer, and then back out. So I get my thermometer on here to uh, see what kind of temperature difference we're getting. 
just to make sure that we can dry clothes with it. And I'm probably looking for, I, I was rough estimating the last video, but uh, last time I checked, I'm getting about a 30 degree TD, which is, is awesome. It's perfect enough to dry clothes. And we're talking like uh, 110 degrees air. Oh, hot summer day right there. That should dry clothes pretty fast. And I could I could adjust things like maybe slow the fan speed down a little bit, just so it uh, the air has a lot more transfer heat transfer going on. So right now I'm reading. So I didn't see that. 78.6 Sorry for the quality Let's see, yeah, 78.6 So the circ pump just came back on again that means we've had we've had it uh, drop down below 140 degrees so it jumped back on again it's going to recycle that water back into the tank in the uh, middle of the tank that way all this water stays relatively, um, you know, it doesn't go back down to the bottom where where the water might be, say, uh, 90 degrees or 100 degrees. It comes back at maybe 130 or something like that and gets circulated back into the 150. So eventually it, it will come down. I don't know how long it'll last, but um, on a hot day, I should be making it just fine. So I'll probably do my my laundry and dry my clothes um, late afternoon, one, two o'clock, something like that, or maybe uh, maybe 11, because I do have hot air by 11. So right now we are at 102. Now I can turn that Johnson control up a little bit more, so that my my water will be a little bit hotter and then I'll probably get my 110 degrees that I'm looking looking to get you know that's that's basically it I mean I got got hot water got hot air get dry clothes that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or whatever just uh, post it to my to my uh, Gadget Man uh, web or whatever YouTube web uh, site, and uh, I'll try to answer them the best I can. It's not the only thing I do. This is just uh, one of many. Just had an idea and had to get it down on on actual working instead of just putting it on paper. I just had to go for it, do it. So now we're at. to get that water in the coil and then it's got to transfer it to air so that's that's good enough to dry clothes though so 79 so 80 90 100 27 degrees but um yeah i had 30 just a little while ago when the water was hotter and i turned the johnson control up a little bit more that's it guys later